there are millions of different definitions for engineering. Any application of science or mathematics or any other academic area, as soon as someone makes that useful to solve a problem, that's engineering for me. The satisfaction and the excitement that you get from having a problem that you can sort of experience and then creating a solution in your mind that is in no way tangible or real and then to hold a physical result and, and witness the problem being solved, it creates such excitement. Everyone now has access to do stuff. Now some sort of 15 year old sitting in his bedroom can design, be it Facebook or, or, or whatever, something that has such a profound impact on so many people's lives. mindset for innovation and creativity, the role that students and young people can play instead of identifying little niches or gaps or bits of technology to apply to different areas, they can make seriously profound differences that huge companies can't. My teacher Mr Swinley is a, an avid caravanner and he was complaining about some of the bits of kit that they have in the sort of caravanning industry. I kind of thought yeah right fair enough I'll, I'll have a stab at this I reckon I can do a better job and the particular gadget we settled on was something that monitors how much gas is in a gas bottle. The, the premise of the problem is you've got someone in their caravan or in their yacht they go out to start sort of cooking the Sunday roast um, and then the gas runs out and they have to go and trek out in the mud to change over the bottle. GasSense was a project to create a cheap and reliable widget that would wirelessly warn you when your gas bottle is about to run out and tell you how full it is at any point. In the gas bottle you've got a, a layer of liquid and then a layer of gas and the height of the liquid is, is the, the key, key points about how full it is and when it's discharging the surface of the liquid is evaporating uh, so it gets colder than the rest of the bottle. So the technology is all about trying to spot the cold point on the bottle because that's the exact height of the surface. Now if you are able to look through it at the bottle through a thermal imaging camera, there are two clear denominations and the coldest point, which is much darker than the rest, is the exact surface of the liquid. To tell that, the easiest way is to, to grab a gas sense um, and you just slap it on the side like that. That will now be sort of monitoring. We'll start learning about your use and taking your readings for you. We registered a business and it was GasSense, it's our, our product name and our company. We went into the Excel Centre and we did the Young Engineer for Britain exhibition. Having these sort of flocks of people coming past where everyone's saying, oh, I wish I had one, you know, it's a really great product. Um, being really enthusiastic about it, it's very exciting. And then companies started getting in touch. So it was really quite sort of roller coaster at the time. Unfortunately, that clashed really dramatically with my exams, <laughs> which was a nuisance, but very, very exciting. If you chat to people from the city, you don't find many that say that they love their job. Going to work at six o'clock in the morning to start trading with somewhere abroad isn't an awful lot of fun. You know, whereas you chat to engineers who are really seriously excited by their work, have been able to travel all over the world, don't have to work stupid hours, and have these sort of rewarding careers, and still get paid very well. The things that people are prioritising, I think, are offered very well in engineering. And it creates for some really quite strange situations. You know, I'll be sort of flying abroad to go and meet with companies, pitching a product to a board of directors. And the next day I'll be sort of sitting in Canterbury in my maths lesson. It's really exciting. So I was sort of looking at licensing out the product to one of these manufacturers that's been trying to produce something like this. You know, I'll have a sort of royalty income and they'll be able to manufacture my product, get it out to a far wider market than I would be able to on my own. So that's what we're sort of developing and building up at the moment. As an engineer, you really do have a sense that anything is possible. You know, any problem that's thrown up, you'll be able to find a solution to it. As long as you have the resources and the people and the expertise to do it. That sense of possibility, the way it empowers you, is, is really quite profound, I think. Thank you.